the clock is, this PC might look like just a pretty face, but Sakura is more than just a cherry blossom themed PC build. It is packed with AMD's latest hardware, including the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D and RX 9070 XT. This PC delivers both looks and serious performance, but don't just take my word for it. Stay tuned for benchmarks, gaming performance, and how AMD FSR technology could double your FPS for free. Like I mentioned at the start, this PC is powered by AMD's flagship gaming CPU, the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D. It uses 3D vCache technology for great gaming performance in a huge range of titles, and as you will see later, we'll share what happened when I put the 8 cores and 16 threads to the test. You can also upgrade to the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D or 9950X 3D using our configurator, which offers even more performance, particularly for creative and workstation tasks that require more cores. To create the perfect AMD pairing, the Secura is equipped with a Radeon RX 9070 XT GPU. It has a whopping 16 gigabytes of VRAM, which is fast becoming a must have if you want to future proof your PC. We picked the Sapphire Pure because of its beautiful white aesthetic, but also excellent cooler design. You can also save around £100 by opting for the RX 9070 instead. Other specs include 32GB of 6000MHz Expo tuned memory to ensure the best performance from the CPU, a 2TB WD Black SN850X SSD with Gen 4 speeds of up to 7300MB a second for all your games and files, and finally, connecting all this hardware together is the ASRock B580 Steel Legend motherboard. The components are built into the sleek Antec Flux case with this wooden front panel which has plenty of airflow. This has then been transformed by the talented TechForge team at Overclockers GK with different custom artwork that complements the rest of the Secura theme design. It's actually UV printed as well, not wrapped, so it's never going to wear off. At the heart of this build and adding to the overall secure aesthetic is the Trix panoramic cooler. The L-shaped AMOLED display can actually showcase various 3D visual effects, including our very own custom artwork, which you can see on display behind me here. One of the main benefits of this PC is a flexible specification, so you can of course tweak a few different hardware options to suit your requirements and budget. The spec that I've tested is the default one on our website, which comes in at £2,700. Now we've gone over the specifications of the Secura, let's take a look at the features an all AMD system can provide through AMD's Adrenaline software. It's super duper easy to download on the AMD website and is an absolute must have for an AMD powered PC like this one. Toggle on AMD Hyper RX mode and you'll unlock max GPU performance with advanced super resolution, frame generation, and latency reduction technologies, which can help deliver up to a 2.3 times boost in overall performance. AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4 is exclusive to the RX 9000 series, like the GPU in the Secura. It uses AI upscaling technologies to help boost your frame rates in select titles, while also maintaining or even improving the overall visuals. There's over 70 titles that have FSR 4 at the moment, and I don't think it's going to be long before all FSR 3.1 games actually get the update. AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 is now available and it has new optimizations and tunable settings for a better frame generation experience, including AI optimized enhancements for improved quality, lower latency, and better performance than ever before. It's supported by AMD PCs like the Secura and it works with thousands of games to more than double your FPS. You can enable AFMF on a per game basis by selecting the specific game you want to use under the games sub tab in the Adrenaline software. 
Upscaling and frame generation can improve your visuals quite dramatically, but also introduce latency, which as we all know is a gamer's worst nightmare. Thankfully, AMD Radeon Anti-Lag 2 is an in-game technology that is available now in games like Counter-Strike 2, Dota 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Call of Duty, Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered, and many more. It reduces latency by around five to 10 milliseconds in most cases and helps to make your games feel much more responsive, even with all those FPS improving technologies turned on. Adrenaline also has a ton of different monitoring features, so you can check the temperature of your hardware and also your average FPS. I actually regularly use this feature during my testing and I found it to be extremely useful. It's well worth having if you love to dive into more of the techie side of your PC and I recommend playing around with it or turning it on in the software. So now I've covered all of those different features, it's time to put them to the test with the benchmark results. I tried out a selection of AAA titles with demanding graphics to see how well the Secura performs in different gaming scenarios. I chose to test at 1440p because I think this is the real sweet spot for gaming, particularly with the hardware in this system. You get a great balance of nice, high, crisp resolution, but also that super smooth FPS. I also wanted to test out the difference that AMD's Adrenaline software provides, so I also tested all of the games with AMD Hyper RX actually turned on, all your frame generation and upscaling features were enabled, and then I also compared it to the FPS with those features turned off. It is super easy to enable in the Adrenaline software with just one click of a button on the homepage and then the game you're playing will be optimized with the best settings. Cyberpunk at 1440p ultra settings with ray tracing on ultra was 197% increase. Assassin's Creed Shadows at 1440p on very high settings with ray tracing set to max was a percentage increase of 132%. Hitman 3 at 1440p on ultra settings with the ray tracing turned on saw a 38% increase. Borderlands 4 at 1440p with high settings saw a 170% increase. Finally, Silent Hill 2 at 1440p on high settings with the ray tracing enabled saw a 57% increase. Taking a look at the results, you can see that the Secura is an incredibly powerful gaming PC in all of those different games. You're going to be able to enjoy gaming at 1440p with over 100 FPS in most titles. Unsurprisingly, the difference between the AMD features turned on or off is substantial, with most of the performance gains likely coming from AMD's upscaling and frame generation technologies. Overall, there was a 118% performance uplift, which is huge and in line with AMD's claims of up to 2.3 times the performance in some titles. Enabling Hyper RX does have a bit of an effect on the graphics quality, but it is very slight and when the gameplay is fast paced with lots of action, you wouldn't really notice anyway unless you looked really, really closely at the graphics. Plus, I think that all those free performance games are way too good to say no to, so I recommend turning on to get the best performance out of your PC without all of the hassle of messing and tweaking with different settings while you're gaming. Remember, you can go back and pause the video if you want to take a look at our graphs and benchmark settings. It should give you a good idea of what the Secura can really do. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below letting me know if you're thinking of upgrading to an all AMD system for your next PC upgrade. I'll see you again in the next one.